Let's do this. What's up, guys? Teddy Cornwell here. Welcome to the Underdog Talk. I mean something about the Underdog. Today, we have the top global supplement reviewers on this show <laughs> and some absolute boosts. But before we get into this interview, you guys know I have to give these gentlemen a proper Underdog Talk introduction. <laughs> Today's guests, as mentioned, are the top global supplement reviewers and Underdog Talk approved. They preach giving honest, accurate, and entertaining reviews. These guests started in 2018 and have never looked back. And finally, these gentlemen partnered up with German Pharma to create the pre-workout Daily Driver, which is a game changer, featuring a completely different look to any other supplement on the industry. I am proud and honored to present Aaron and Craig, aka the Review Bros. What is up today, gentlemen? How you guys doing? Very well, thank you, Teddy, and thank you so much for you know letting us come on your show and do the talk. You know, we've seen that you've had some uh, some very well known people, some absolute legends on your channel. So it's uh, it's really good to be sort of thrown in the mix with them. So yeah, thank you for having us on. Nah, you guys are legends. Come on now, hype yourself up, gentlemen. <laughs> no, so <it> was... <laughs> before we even get into this interview, the question I've had on my mind since this interview was booked. I've been taking pre-workout for a while, you know, and it's kind of lost its effect on me. Now, I've got to ask, how long have you guys been taking pre-workout? We've always been taking it, really, ever since we started training like 10 years ago. But we didn't take it as, regular as, we, as regularly as we did when we started the channel in 2018. That's when it really ramped up to taking it, you know, pretty much every gym session. But prior to that, it was just the occasional treat, weren't it? Yeah. So what we have to do, um, Teddy, as you said, these, these pre-workouts, they do lose effectiveness. And I think one of the advantages we've got with, with having so much choice on the market today is it's very rare that we take the same ingredients continuously. Uh, caffeine might be the only one that it really becomes, you know, a daily sort of thing. And that's why we take our skin break. So what we aim to do every three month period, we take a week to two weeks off to reset the adrenal glands and get things back ticking in motion. So. So then when we come back around to these pre-workout reviews again, we're refreshed really and ready to go and to start feeling it to keep things on a fair and even playing field. Yeah, what we also do is try and alternate the more like lower stim daily driver pre-workouts with the higher stim one. So we'll never, there'll never be a period where we're just taking a bunch of higher stim or a bunch of low stim. It'll be like most of the week will be lower stim and then we'll have a higher stim one to review and, you know, keep it kind of even like that. Mm, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Wow, I, I love that. That's, that's genius. If only I could take breaks. Unfortunately, I'm not as disciplined as you two gentlemen. And now my final question before we get into this, what was the highest stim pre-workout that both you guys have ever taken? <laughs> well, there's, a, there's been a few, Teddy, a few in, in different ways. Um, we would probably say some of the strongest ones would be the crack limited editions. Um, or potentially Excelsior during its earlier days. It has changed formulations since then. Um, it would probably be something along those type of lines. One of the earlier formulas of Age of Insanity, they just hit you with an absolute high amount of alpha yo and caffeine. It just sends you into jitter town. So, yeah, there's, there's like you said, and some different of the, ways. Yeah, and some of these strong ones, Teddy, you can feel them for a day and even two days after mm. taking them. You can... The second day after taking it, you can almost feel like something's still going. And if you was to take a low stim pre work, it would kind of Reignite. amplify it again. <laughs> yeah, set the flame going again. So, yeah, that's the one to try and avoid taking, obviously, like Craig said, too often. I mean, it's a scary experience when you got that pre workout and it hits you like a brick. And I won't even lie, uh, uh, guys, this is, this, is, this is the first time I've ever said it. I call. <laughs> I called poison control once because I thought I yeah. took too much caffeine. I'm not gonna lie, I was I was out of my mind tweaking. And it was the worst part is it was just a little C it was a little bang energy shot. And I, I, I was so good at caffeine, but that 300 milligrams in such a small thing yeah. just yeah. shot. Yeah. That freaked my body out. And then the other one was took a scoop and a half of total war. 
best workout of my life. But after that, I come home and I'm spinning and I just, I'm in the shower, just spinning on the ground. So I've learned to be a little smarter, but you guys, I mean, I look up to you guys to see if it's good before I take it now. So thank you both of y'all. No, that's, no, that's okay. That's what we, that's what we aim to do at the end of the day on this review channel is, is, is keep things a hundred percent honest. That's what we've since said since day one. That's the way we'll always do things. And, you know, just keep the consistency there with the reviews and make sure no one's taking anything that wouldn't protect, potentially suit their needs. Mm, and health and safety has also been a key thing we're always pushing. You know, weigh your scoops, understand what type of product you're taking. So while some people might look at our channel and be like, look at these couple of Wally's taking all these high steam, crazy free workouts. We do that so you don't have to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So I want to take it way back. You know, in 2018... The review bros were established. And I mean, your first ever review on YouTube was of Rich Piana's 5% product, full as our guy Ryan Lochte says, excuse my French, full as fuck. So first, were you guys always into fitness and supplements? And then how did you guys decide to create a supplement review channel? Well, it's a tough one, Teddy. So we, we, always, we always have been into fitness. We was heavily into bodybuilding back in the early days, you know, the the Ronnie Coleman, Jay Cutler battles, et cetera, et cetera. You know, we was we was always into that, always admired their physiques, always was trying to attain that goal, which we unfortunately never made it to. Yeah. <laughs> but, but in doing so, we used to, you know, um, do all these different training methods, training styles, uh, different diets, et cetera. But obviously in with that did come the supplement world, including the pre-workout powders. And we did take them, as Craig said, we took them every now and again. What we used to what you used to try and do is visit as many gyms as possible in our area and and further afield and quite often these gyms would have um pre-workout bars they'd have like the um the stacks of different pre-workout powders and you could take you know a scoop of pre-workout for a pound so we used to often do that and we used to sit in the car on the drive back home and just discuss between ourselves oh yeah we like this one today no we didn't like it why did we like it and then and then, as you said, in 2018, with that first review, we just decided, you know what? We talk about these pre-workouts enough between ourselves. We've taken enough of them over the years. Let's put that together in a YouTube format and um, and let people know our honest experiences on it. And then, yeah, like you said, we never looked back after that. And it was um, it grew pretty quick from there on out, didn't it? Yeah, so we started out just reviewing basic pre-workouts out of our cupboard that we, are, that we obviously bought ourselves. And before we knew it, we, um, we thought we'd trial up and start messaging companies, you know, did they want to work with us for honest reviews? And I think one of the first ones, believe it or not, we actually did work with was Dorian Yates. Yeah. So that really set a tone for us. We thought, well, if Dorian Yates worked with us, then pretty much anyone will, right? So that really got the ball rolling. And then before we knew it, now companies are actually approaching us, asking us if we'll review their stuff. So it really, yeah, it just really built up over time. Yeah, and I mean, you guys are some of the most reputable, you know, and honest supplement reviewers in the industry. So it's only right the companies do reach out to you now. Uh, and I love that because it's just the variety now for you guys is so much more than you guys just supporting and buying the products yourself. So I love to see that. Now, over the years, it seems like you've tried every product out there. So gentlemen, what was your best review product? And then what was your worst review product? Daily Drive is obviously best right now. <laughs> <laughs> So in terms of um, the usage of the products, there, there's been so many. We've often said, uh, Teddy, pre-workouts are like asking someone what their favourite car is or what their favourite meal is. There's no best pre-workout, and we'll say that about any pre-workout out there ever that has ever been and that will ever come. And that includes the ones we formulated, like, the, for example, the Daily Driver, and we also uh, formulated the Rect Extreme with huge supplements last year, um, which sold out very quickly. That was uh, that, that flew off the shelves. But um, the, the point we're trying to get to and we try to explain to everyone is there is no best pre-workout, just like there is no best car. Of course, you can have the most expensive car. Of course, you can have the fastest car, 0 to 60. Of course, you can have the cheapest to run car but none of them are going to suit everyone. So we do have our picks of best bunches, don't we? I'd say, yeah. you know, uh, one of our favourites was, for example, a, a Dark Energy when, when it first came out, just because of the, the mood elevation that it personally gave us. But not 
every single person out there is going to respond exactly the same way we do. We do, however, feel we have an advantage, perhaps in terms of reviewing pre-workouts compared to some other review channels, because there is two of us. So there's twice the chance that it'll either affect us differently, the same, and the same that it'll, it'll affect you out there, you, yourself, Teddy, for example. Yeah, so there's not a best pre-workout, but there's a most suitable pre-workout for the said person. Yeah, definitely. And we can we can narrow it down a lot for the consumer out there because we can generally tell what a good tasting pre-workout is. We, can, we know what value for money is. We have a consistent price and scale on our channel, which compares the price of a serving compared to any other serving out there. And then we just talk about the effects from a, an open-minded standpoint, from how it works in terms of pumps, how it works in terms of focus, and quite obviously how it works in terms of energy. Then you get some side notes, you get endurance, you get power output, you get um, fat burning effects, elements, et cetera, et cetera. So we try and talk about a car or a pre-workout for its, its individual elements, and then the consumer can decide actually i like that one and we perhaps will compare our pre-workouts to pre-workouts we've reviewed in the past we can say it's like this one this one this one and that consumer can then go well i liked that one so if you're saying it's like that one this one might be suitable for me or it won't be so it, we juggle them like that really yeah and that's why we do our top 10 videos because then if someone says oh what's your favorite or what's the best highest improve we can say we can't say what the best is but check out our top 10 video on youtube and you might be able to work out from that which one's more most applicable to you mm. you know hats off to you i love that answer i was looking for a specific one but you were so honest and you're, you know what? You're right. You cannot have a favorite pre-workout because there are so they're all different. They're all yeah. I, I don't have a favorite pre-workout, and I've used so many too. So I like that answer. Now I want to you know continue uh, moving forward. So again, you know, 2000 since 2018, obviously your channel has taken off. You know, you've gained so much credibility in the industry. But the million dollar question is, where do you guys see? the review bros down the line. I mean, what's next? Obviously, you guys just came out with a pre-workout, but what else do you guys see yourself doing? We, we're we talking long-term here, but we want our own supplement line, like actually just fully our own. And then down the line even further, we want our own gym and our own recording studio and all that sort of thing. So yeah, we haven't got small goals by any stretch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the, uh, that's the long-term goal. Yeah, and some of the shorter-term goals are still to continue growing the channel gaining uh, more experience of pre-workout formulation, seeing how the market changes, and just, you know, continuing to reach out to more consumers because we feel like um, we've got a lot to offer people out there that don't know as much about pre-workouts. We're still, to this day, getting people that, that find our channel and say, I wish I'd found you guys, you know, those four years ago. So grow the channel see how it goes into our own supplement line looking at formulations etc etc so that is the they are the goals really teddy wow i mean i can only imagine a review bros gym you walk in and you get a free scoop of a review bros pre-workout oh that'd be a game changer i want to see that please do it please do it so i want to talk about your most recent endeavor you know you guys partnered with German Pharma to create your own pre-workout daily driver. So what was that like? You know, how did that happen? How did that, uh, you know, it all start? And then would you mind talking about the process of creating your own supplement? Yeah, definitely. So um, as, as the name suggests for a start, daily driver, we wanted a pre-workout that was just that, something you could take on a daily basis or at least as many days as you train a week without some of the negative consequences that can come from some of the high skin pre-workouts. The pre-workout we designed Daily Driver is for someone who wants to just get a nice pick-me-up with a nice pump, nice endurance, a, a dialed in focus, but without any negative effects that can come after that, a nasty crash, nausea, sickness, highness, no sleep for the night, and potentially uh, appetite suppression effects, which can affect the goals that we have personally we want to put on weight and you know body build which i think a lot of people do and it's applicable for other sports as well it's applicable for cross training power lifting you name it really because it's got those endurance based elements in it without having too much energy 
we find it's got the, the sweet spot of energy, don't we? Yeah, exactly. Especially as last year, like you touched on, we've done Rect Extreme, which was the highest in one. We thought this year we want to do something a little bit different um, and I guess widen our audience a little bit because more people can use a daily driver, whereas um, a highest in pre-workout is a bit more niche in that. Obviously, your average Joe wouldn't get on well with it. Yeah, daily driver was just that. Anyone can take it. It gives you a good choice of the one, two scoops and the one scoop we made sure to be dosed really well. Um, we obviously couldn't bring out a pre-workout that was anything less than mm. really good because of our, you know, our, our history really with the channel. So um, for anyone that's looking at that pre-workout, just look at the dosages. You'll be able to see yourselves there hitting beyond clinical. So that's what we wanted to do was bring a pre-workout that hits all elements. It does hit endurance it does hit power output it hits pump really well it hits focus really well and it hits energy to a sweet spot not too strong but nice yeah. nice fully comprehensive no negatives yeah Ooh. hey maybe you guys can take my place for a day to handle the podcast I'll, I'll take a day to review daily driver we can just switch roles see how it goes yeah but, um... we'd love to see how you get on with it yeah definitely now, finally, gentlemen, I want to end this with you guys seen it all, you know, seen all the supplements in the industry. So what is your biggest tip for someone who is looking to start, you know, using supplements? Start out with the basics, you know, don't go crazy, you know, start off with something that's dosed well, got all of the basic ingredients, you know, like your L-citrulline, your caffeine, your L-tyrosine, alpha-GPC, just like the daily driver, really. Yeah. So you'd be absolutely fine with that. And, um... Now the basics first, I'd say. So before they even look at supplements, they want to make sure their training's on point. They want to make sure their meal plan's on point and then start going into your whey proteins and your pre-workouts, right? Yeah, definitely. And we've always advocated as well, you know, I do believe you should be 18 before you start using pre-workouts um, because some of them these days are very strong, like they really are. And I feel like at that age, well, for example, ourselves, we started out, we had enough motivation to go to the gym and crush it without the pre-workouts and then obviously we understand that eventually you'll get to that stage where you need pre-workouts and that's where i would recommend not just our own channel check out review channels and find something that is a beginner level or even come to ourselves and ask the question what do you recommend i've, I've never used a pre-workout before and we can give several suggestions you know we're not you know we're not biased by any stretch we'll just give several different pre-workouts you could use and I so agree on that point. You know, if you're under 18, you've got that natural energy anyways. You don't need pre-workout because, you know, once you get that first taste of pre-workout, oh, baby, there's no coming back from it. So I, I, I love that. That was a solid suggestion. And for real, if you guys need advice, please check out the review, bros. I mean, their advice is so honest, so real, so unbiased. So I highly recommend that. If you are even, you know, taking supplements now, just looking for some more advice and possibly trying some new supplements. So, gentlemen, it has been such an honor and privilege talking with you. But I like to get my guests out of here with some rapid fire questions. Are you guys game? Yeah, go for it. Yeah, shoot. No gym for a year or no supplements for a year? No supplements. Yeah, for a year. definitely. Because yeah. otherwise, you'd be having to take supplements so you wouldn't be able to train. So, yeah. it would be kind of pointless, right? Yeah, yeah. It would have to be that way. And like, kind of similar to what Craig said earlier, you've got to have your diet and training on point before the supplements come. So that would be our honest opinion. It would be a sad year of gym, but we'd, we'd have to make it happen. Mm. And, and I think that answer was correct because, again, supplements are to add on to what you already have. They're not needed, but they help. So that was the right answer. I totally agree with you. Now, this one I'm interested. No pre-workout for a year or no pump for a year? No pump. Yeah, no pump. We bring our own pumps to the table, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we've always said, Teddy, that pumps are actually the hardest thing to review in terms of a pre-workout or a supplement because so many different things affect the pump. Your hydration, your diet, the carb intakes, the weather, your mood, the training intensity, you name it, everything affects the pump. Even your sleep the night before will affect the pump. So that's why we've always said that's the hardest thing to nail in terms of reviewing. Yeah, and I mean, to be honest, if you get a good pre-workout, it should have pump in there anyway. So that was a trick question. So <laughs> this one is, I'm, I'm actually very interested in this also. Go to pre-workout flavor. 
Oh. We've always said we kind of like candy esque flavors, you know, like your rainbows, Skittles, Sour gummies. Yeah. Um, ones. I know we do love fruits. I mean, Daily Driver comes in a fruity flavor. Mm. Um, They're just harder to nail sometimes. Yeah, the they ones. can they be. Come off really artificial tasting. So it would be something like that, or a Rocket Pop. You know, mm. something that's quite quite intensive, quite strong on the palates. Then it it, it, it overrides any negatives. Mm. I, I like the Rocket Pop. I think my favorite, I'm just a cotton candy guy. So cotton candy oh. flavor, if you hit it right, yeah, boom. Yeah, that's a good one. It is. Favorite cheat meal? Oh, that's tricky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mine would probably be... Oh, that is a tough one. You like a Chinese, don't you? I do like a Chinese meal, <laughs> yeah. So, I'd say a big Indian. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. I, yeah. Indian food is damn good. Yeah. yeah. It is damn good. And then you get all the <laughs> dressings. Ooh. What would you go, what would for? You go for? I'm a pizza guy. I got to go oh, pizza. Yeah. <laughs> I want to stay classic. I mean, I stepped off my bodybuilding, you know, after my bodybuilding show. The first thing I grabbed backstage was pizza. And I mean... Oh, it it, you know, it made me feel better than any girl has ever made me feel. I'm just going to put it out there. You can't go wrong with pizza. Man. No, you can't. You know carbs, you carbs and calories. You can't. And, and, and here's my underrated pizza place. Everyone's going to hate on me when I say this, but Little Caesars is very underrated. I mean, the price for $8 for a large pizza, I mean, you just can't beat it. But... We'll have to keep our eyes out for that one. We don't have that one. Really, yeah, exactly. do we? Next time we're over in America, we'll come try one. Right Definitely. now. Yeah, it's not. I think it's just in America right now. But once you guys are coming, you know, to America, try it out. You guys will not be disappointed. It's just good. It's Detroit style pizza and mm, damn good. Sounds good to us. Weirdest supplement f flavor so far. Hmm. Oh, we had one that was um, called a trick or treat. Um, and I think it was more of a trick, Teddy, to be honest with you. That was a strange, yeah. spicy, almost like a spicy orangey flavour. Spiced pumpkin. Yeah, it was very, um, yeah, it was very strange, to there was say another, the least. another company done a chocolate flavour pre-workout. Oh, yeah, there was, did, wasn't there? Yeah, there was a chocolate one, which, yeah, it, it don't typically sound like a pre-workout flavour. Mm. You know, I'd be weirdly willing to try a chocolate pre-workout flavor, yeah. to be honest with you. I feel like it could go very right or very wrong. Yeah. yeah. I agree. And people are getting more creative with their flavors. And, I mean, our guy, KJ, um, he actually – I don't know if he was joking about this, but he's looking to come out with a pepperoni uh, pizza protein powder, and I am dying to try it. I won't yeah. lie with you. Really? Mm. I'd give that a shot. Oh, uh, with me. <laughs> Not probably too water, but yeah, that, <laughs> that is interesting. If he could nail that, then yeah, we'll review that on the channel. Ooh, I'd love to see that. Last two questions are big ones on this show. First one: talk like Rocky Balboa for the rest of your life, or have to box Rocky Balboa in his prime. Whoa. <laughs> I think I'd talk like Rocky for the rest of my life. I think I'm boxing, get knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'd only, love, you'd only have five seconds in the round. So yeah. It'll be over quick. It'll be nice and easy. <laughs> and I mean, to be perfectly honest, if you go against him, you'd probably talk like him anyways after. Yeah. So, <laughs> Definitely. I would go into the ring with Rocky Balboa just to say I fought Rocky. I'd probably, I would get mauled. Yeah. But I would also get a fat paycheck. So, I mean, most of that might go to medical, you know, coverage. But, but I would still keep a little. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a win. It's a win in that regard. In that regard, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last one is a big one. Pull-ups or chin-ups? For me, pull-ups. We well, generally do pull-ups more than chin-ups. Yeah. We? I'm generally generally better than them than chin-ups and I think that's the reason I'd probably pick it. Yeah, and we find them more useful in general as well, don't yeah, we? Yeah, yeah. Bodybuilding. They are more useful, they are harder, they're more effective. Not that I can do either, but I mean, we are talking 
with the legendary review bros who I have mentioned on this channel millions of times. I swear I keep on bringing you guys up. You guys have such a positive influence in the supplement industry and the fitness in the influence uh, industry. But again, it has been an honor and privilege. The floor is yours, gentlemen. Where can we find your content? Where can we find your reviews? Where can we find this new daily driver? Thank you, Teddy. First and foremost, obviously, for letting us come on the channel. Enjoyed it so much. And thank you to everyone watching at home. Likewise. Um, in terms of following us, um, just go on YouTube and type in Review Bros. We'll come up at the top there. Or Instagram, review underscore bros. You'll find us there. We've also got several other media outlets on Reddit, Twitter, Snapchat, etc. More than happy to get links to you guys through either of those out Instagram or YouTube. In terms of the daily driver, um, what we'll do, Teddy, is when this gets posted to YouTube, we'll, we'll actually drop a link in the comments below so then people can click straight if they're interested in looking at it. Um, mm. But it is obviously on the German Pharma Direct website, and you can use code RB10, it'll knock 10% off. So that's for everyone out there, just as a little thank you, you know. Yeah, and we just recently lowered the price as well to £34.19 when you use that 10% discount. It does code. ship overseas as well, cheap rates, so you can get your hands on it, Teddy, don't worry. Yeah, we're trying to make it accessible to as many people as possible. I, I love it. And you know what? First person to buy it, send me a DM. I will send you an autograph and some goodies from one of the guests we've had on the show. So please, please run it up. But I mean, that talk of pizza has made me hungry as hell. Um, <laughs> I'm talking with the legendary review bros. Again, such an honor and privilege. Please don't forget to go check out their content. Check out Daily Driver. Check out their reviews in general. You will not be disappointed. But also, please, you know, like, subscribe, and comment on their videos. Again, guys, such an honor and privilege. But until next time, guys, underdog out. Thank you.